No, that's really not 984. What? This is HE? Holy crap. Look at this thing go. Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Taskmaster Tuesday this week saw a challenge where I was supposed to have either a heavy cruiser with the biggest guns available or a battleship with the smallest guns. I went with the heavy cruiser with the biggest guns, but I am curious, as were some of you according to the comments, to see what the battleship challenge would look like. Now it says build a 1940s battleship with the smallest guns available. Um, and secondaries no larger than 2 inch, so it's not like you can rely upon secondaries to finish off the enemy. Um, you get one point for not getting hit by torpedoes, that is if the enemy battleships have torpedoes. You get one point to sink half the enemy ships, two points for sinking all the enemy ships, and a bonus point for using a single torpedo launcher and hitting an enemy with it. Um, this is going to be an interesting one, because whereas with a heavy cruiser you can pretty easily get a very, uh, very sizable platform with good guns on it, with a battleship, the enemy is likely to have quite, quite some armor. And if I don't have enough pen to deal with that, then I'm probably going to struggle dealing any kind of damage. So, let's see what I can build. Um, I feel that there's two ways really to go about this. You can go with a design that relies on burning the enemy down. Or you can try to go with a design that has um, just as much AP on your small guns, your 9 inches, as you can. But considering that we're starting at 15,000 meter range, I can pen 5 inches of armor. That's really not going to work. So I'm going to need to go with the HE option, probably, and just try to have as many HE spewing guns as possible. Uh, anti torp, yeah, some of it. Let's go with the all-or-nothing citadel, all the anti-flood, reinforced bulkheads too. I need to survive as long as I can. Let's go with four spoilers. Wow, that's not even good enough? This is the biggest funnel I can have. I'm doing 29 knots-ish. Yeah, this will do. Okay. Let's start adding guns. I'm going to probably need quite a few barbettes in order to make this work. Let's see, center lines, 9 inch. These guns look tiny on this ship. Holy crap. Um, I can still add one more turret there. Considering that these turrets are relatively light compared to the platform that I'm using, uh, my pitch is very, very good. So the ship is not really bounding up and down that much. Put this here. Four wave sets two and a half. Further forward, forward. Just spacing these things out a little bit, and I might be able to shift the superstructure back. Ugh. Sit. These things are very close together, and apparently the game treats them as one item. Oh, and now it doesn't. Come on, make up your mind. Either you guys are joined together. Or you're not. 1-5. That's good enough. Let's throw on the funnel. Super large funnel. Um, let's start getting more firepower. Electro-hydraulical turrets. I think we're going to have to go incendiary. 150% fire uh, HE fire chance. More HE damage. I think super heavy shells are going to give me also a nice bonus to HE. HE shell fire chance. Plus 25, or sorry, 22.5%. Um, yep, this is more shell damage, or more itchy damage, really. This is plus 17.5. Plus 25. This is better. It does have less shell pen, but I'm not really building a ship to have pen anyway. Uh, what else do we get? Shell pen, 11.5%. Not really necessary. This is mostly to have less flash fire chance, but some of these shell, or some of these propellants, such as... 2 powder 3 also reduce the shell fire chance by 50%. It's not good. Um, this is better. Just flat out more damage. These things reload in 14 seconds. And with that, I can get a pretty serious amount of shells in the air. But we're going to probably need more. 
I can have these offset guns. Uh, it's gonna not really help my roll that much, but it will provide even more firepower. It's just that the other turrets are probably gonna hate this. Yeah, hold on. What if I go with yet another barbette? Like that. Yeah. That's good. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here then. Put everything on barbettes. And how many side guns can I still place? Oh, I can still place another four. Great. Or firepower. Okay, um, this gives me quite a lot of firepower. But not really that much damage output. Because I got all these guns. Oh shit, I'm using 10 inches. Hold on. That's illegal. These are supposed to be 9 inches, not 10s. There. Okay, so I got 24 9 inch on a uh, an offset and 7 center lines. That's a lot of firepower. Is it enough to burn the enemy down? <laughs> I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. Let's get a Quincent's Rangefinder because we're going to close the distance. Let's get a Sonar. I do want to use a Torpedo Launcher. Although these are pretty terrible. Let's use a Deck Tube. Do I still have more? No, I have placed all the guns that I can. So all 15 turrets on both sides. Four weight offsets a bit high, sadly. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of overhauling here. Because the more accuracy I can get, the more fires I can set. So let's place this uh, here. Still 6.6. .6. I'm going to have to place these further back. 4.6, that's better. Damn it. It's so annoying. Sometimes it sticks to the main tower, sometimes it doesn't. Like now, it doesn't. One, three. That's good enough. Zero, eight. Okay. I still have quite a lot of displacement left. 14,000 tons. I will need barbette armor. I'll need to make sure that these guns stay alive. But I cannot add more than 9 inches of armor to these turrets. That's a problem. Also, my roll is a bit high. That's not great. But I cannot really place them too much closer to the superstructure. So I'm guessing... More beam? Just create a more stable firing platform like that. It's also 135,000 tons of warship. So it's, it's a bit big. Let's see. What else can I get? Armor. Uh, we're going to be broadside pretty much non-stop. Let's make this a 24-inch fast. And give me more of those. We're going to be broadside most of the time. So let's get 20-inch main armor belts. Yeah, 11's fine here. 11's fine there. 6-inch superstructure. Mm, conning tower, all of it. So this is effectively, what, 42 inches of armor? 44 inches of armor, considering I have 120% armor quality. If they get four battleships with 20-inch guns with super AP shells, I'm still going to be really dead really quickly. How many shells do I carry? I carry 390 shells per gun. So that's per turret. I should have enough ammunition. Let's get more armor then. And go 25? Yeah. We go 12, 12. Let's get more speed. Because I will need to get somewhat closer to the enemy. 30 knots is a bit too much. No, 30 knots can can be sustained. Although engine efficiency is pretty terrible. If I go for gas turbines... Yeah, no, gas turbines have that problem that you can't get any better boilers. Gas turbines are fun to run. But I think the turboelectric drive is going to be a bit more useful here. There's no real way for me to add another funnel, I'm afraid. Unless I can put something small here, but no. If 
I squeeze this secondary tower further there. This goes here. Yeah, stop complaining. This goes here. This might do it. Ah, not quite. There's no way to put nine inches on here, is there? No, sadly not. Uh, push this a bit further forward, this further forward, this further forward, tower further forward. I will get this second funnel in here. There. Ship's overweight. Really. What if I increase the draft as well? There. Ship's no longer overweight. Problem solved. Now, I have a bit of a four-weight offset, but I can probably shift these turrets back now. There, 0.1%. That's good. Okay. I think this is about as good as it's going to get. It's not a great ship by any stretch of the imagination, but it might just get the job done. Just by setting so many fires that the enemy is completely unable to come back from it. That's the plan. Let's see if the plan works. Okay, what has the AI crafted for me today? We got there. That's a lot of guns. It's 15 4 inchers. Sorry, 14 inchers with a bunch of 6, 4, 2, 8s, and 5s. You sure that's a Chinese ship? It looks more American considering the amount of guns that it has. Like every part of the ship has guns on it. Looks like a modernized dreadnought hull. Now, my guns have a range of 20 kilometers. And these guys start at less than that. So, load the HE and commence your blasting. Because we're going to need to... <laughs> we're going to need to do quite a bit of HE damage. I wonder if those 14 inches can actually do anything useful. No, not really. Good lord, what's your turning circle like? No, that's really not 994. What?! This is HE? Holy crap. Look at this thing go! These are 9 inch shells. Their pen is terrible at this range. It's about 0.1%. But just fire enough off them and you just... melt this thing. Maybe I should have done this for Taskmaster, considering that this thing is most likely going to get the, f the first kill faster. Which might have helped me with the time trial, with the, the tiebreaker. Go on, identify... Ooh. Did you just happen to get in the way? No. Focus fire on this. We need to eliminate one ship fast. Our ship has taken some damage, but is mostly fine, considering the amount of damage that we've done. Let me see if I can overwhelm their damage control. Look at this thing. This is nuts. How's my ship doing? Not great. Boom. Extensive fire. Yeah, you can get it done. 15 clicks. 15 six. Yeah, okay, focus that. They did. I was worried about this. They did knock out... Um... One... Maybe two of my nine inchers. Some of these are no longer functional. Somewhat reducing the amount of damage output. But still, this thing can spew a lot of high explosive. Every 14 seconds we fire three shells per turret. Come on, identify them. I want to see what sort of damage I'm looking at. This is insane. I think I got quite lucky on the AI design here. Otherwise, this probably wouldn't have worked. I am taking quite a bit of damage, but as I take down another one of their ships, their damage output reduces by 50%. The one problem that I see is getting that torpedo point. I don't think I'm going to be able to get close with this ship, considering it just does not want to turn. 
73, 78. Boom! Extensive fire. Dead. Okay, focus on the wounded one. This guy's 84% ID, 85. Still haven't identified them. There. Standard bulkheads. So I'm overwhelming standard bulkheads and their fire suppression capability. What? This thing still has 70% of structural integrity, but we overwhelmed it so fast that they just sink almost instantly. Holy crap, this thing is a lot more dangerous than I'd expected. It's a pretty expensive warship at 1.6 billion. It's probably because of the combination of armor and type of propulsion. Because turboelectric drive is extremely expensive to run. Okay, here we go. How many fires do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 12. How many times was this guy hit? 243 times. The Arigu, not that much, right? 87. But it just got completely engulfed in flames. Now the Zhang Feng. They have run out of ammunition for their HE shells. Okay. And they can barely touch me. Now, if this was the Taskmaster challenge, I would have probably won it. I just need to try and find a way to get into range and hit them with a torpedo. That's 280 meter turning circle with a Hydro 3. This is a fast torpedo. But they're not in range, and my ship is just going to refuse to turn. So that bonus point would have probably been out of my reach. I would not get hit by torpedoes, because they don't have any. I would sink... Or I already got the points for sinking half the enemy ships. I would get the other two points for sinking all the enemy ships. But that torpedo point is a problem. Okay. Just blow it up. This is just 142,000 tons of HE spammer. And <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> and it's down. Okay. Wow. That was unexpected. Um, what if I load these things with AP? Capped ballistic AP shells. Super heavies, yes. For this, I want as much shell pen as possible. Um... This is 12.5% shell pen. Yeah, let's do that. Switch. Whoops. Uh, switch this to having maximum AP loadout. I can now pen at 12,000 meter range. 15,000 meters. That's 14 inches. Might be enough to go through a bow and a stern belt. Maybe superstructure. Well, superstructure is pretty much a given. Let's see, the price is now 1.6 billion. What if I switch this to gear turbines? Yeah, there you go. That saves you 600 million. And a ton of displacement as well. So you could up armor this thing even more. Have a cheaper ship. I doubt I can actually get that turning circle down much though. 1052. 922. 876. We're getting there, but the ship is still... Yeah, I need to reduce the drafts. That's reducing the displacement, as well as the resistance. Detectability, 13 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see this thing from very far away. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, new round. Let's see what sort of weird contraption the Chinese has designed this time. What is... That. I'm not even sure how they managed to do this. Because a battleship is supposed to have two main guns. Two main gun turrets. This thing doesn't have that. This is some sort of bug. This thing has one quadruple 16 inch turret. But the rest is smaller. It's 6 inch guns. It's an interesting design. But it's just missing a turret. This is not supposed to be in the game. Anyway, let's see how we can do against this thing. 
We're starting at 16 kilometers, which is not great. My turning circle does not really feel that much better. Now, these shells might be able to pan the superstructure if they hit, which I kind of doubt. What I'm pretty sure about is that those 16 inch shells are going to hit me a lot harder. No, don't fire HE. I know your damage capability with HE, I just want to see what AP can do. Ricochet, 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 ricochet. Damage to the main gun. <laughs> Did you really make your turret that, that weak? 15 clicks. Everything is ricocheting. I wonder. Would these semi-armor piercing shells be better? For this design. Just because of the sheer damage output. Or the, the, the volume of fire. Damage to the secondary tower. Partial pens. Range. 15 clicks. Yeah, they're perfectly broadside. I can pen about 14 inches of armor. Yeah, they're already turning away. They've had enough. My ship? Perfectly fine. Even though these guys have bigger guns. They're firing AP at me. I'm perfectly broadside. But a 16-inch gun against this much armor is going to struggle. Here, full pens. Boom, rudder damaged. Main tower damaged. I'm getting a ton of ricochets here. Which is expected. But it's not great. Because it's going to seriously reduce the amount of damage that I can do. Another rudder damaged? I mean, we're damaging these things, but not nearly as well as with the HE. Partial pen. They're all leaving. And as they're leaving, their main guns cannot even fire. <laughs> nice try, though. Yeah, switch to this. He's broadside, and he's at 13 kilometers, so we have a bit more damage output, or a bit more pen chance. Nope, ricochet. <laughs> this rate of fire is great. What do you mean a 9-inch battleship is not feasible? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't really want to buy something like this in the campaign, because it's extremely expensive. But, hey, in custom battles, it kind of works. Yunfei. Okay, you got a lot of armor on your turrets. The fore belt and aft belt are only 7 inches, so let's say about 14, 15. It's not that good. Main armor belt, 12.9, so let's say about 27 inch. That's more like it. And they're all leaving! <laughs> okay, fine. Rebuild the ship. I want to see what the semi-armor piercing can do. Uh, I was firing the cap ballistic shells. I want to see what the semi-armor piercing can do. Because these have a far lower ricochet angle. So, or actually, um, a higher ricochet angle. That means you don't have as much chance to ricochet. They do far less pen, but that's fine. They do have a little bit more fire chance, which is very rare for AP. I mean, for this, I basically have no fire chance. Because I have a, a minus 16.5%. Sorry, minus 19. But here, I have plus 15%. So let's see what this thing can do. New round, new ships. Let's see what the AI has. Is this sticking to design requirements? Yes. 12, 15 inch guns. Again, a modernized dreadnought. Fairly basic tower. Partial pen. Not bad. 96% chance to hit? Holy shit. That is extremely good. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of partial pens. Damage to the funnel. 100% chance to hit? This target's what, 13 clicks out? Is it because you're so big? Range found, 216% bonus. Target ship size, 619%. So they're probably going to have... More than a thousand percent chance bonus to me. No, not even. 729. 
Yeah, semi armor piercing with these guns is not that good. It just does not have the damage output that I need. And they, with all those fairly sizable 15 inches of theirs, do. So my, <laughs> my ship is getting just blown apart in probably less than 10 minutes. Good grief, this thing is dead. Turrets are getting blown up. Structural integrity is dropping. Rudder's been, well, not destroyed, but at least damaged. Probably beyond repair for now. Yeah, this is um, not quite going to work out. I think the HE spammer, 9-inch HE spammer, was just the best option I had. We're less than 7 minutes in, and I'm down to 20, 25% structural integrity. 22. I've taken over 1,000 hits. Exclusively from 15 inches. And they've just done a ton of damage. As for my damage, it's about 1,100. It's not good. So semi armor piercing on 9 inch guns? No, not really the way to go. Anyway, now we know. 9 inch high explosive with just enough guns <laughs> works. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And if you have any more weird, funky challenges, either for Taskmaster or for separate videos, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for more.